Hello you guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kylie and today I'm doing a weekend of my life. You should definitely subscribe. I really like to do these types of videos. You should definitely turn on your post notifications and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. That lets me know I should do more of these. This is actually Super Bowl weekend and I think I've done these types of videos before but this one looks a little bit different we normally spend super bowl weekend with my family in pennsylvania but we're not there we're still in maryland obviously we know why but it's just will and i this weekend and mika obviously and there's a lot to do <laughs> to prepare for the Super Bowl tomorrow. And we have a lot of errands today as usual. Oh yeah, today's Saturday. And so we're going to get all of our errands done today so that we can have just a relaxing Sunday tomorrow. I do have to drop a package off at the post office. We have to go to Target. We have to go to Harris Teeter to get some groceries for the week. And I think that's it for now. Maybe the liquor store. We might need to stock up on some more alcohol. But yeah, that's pretty much it so far. I'm really excited to bring you guys along and let's get into the weekend. You were my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Now, I didn't say this earlier in my, like two seconds ago, but we're heading to Duncan. Blue. <laughs> I don't know why we've been on such a Duncan kick, but we have, and I haven't had Starbucks in a really long time. And honestly, the reason why we're going is because I have a free drink. We're gonna go to Duncan. I'm getting a headache because I'm so hungry. So let's go to Duncan. Okay, we are back with Duncan now. Give him the good bucks. What's in there? What do you mean? Oh, <laughs> we're trying new things today. If you know me, I'm a creature of habit and I never try new things. Why don't you show them what you got? We both got a croissant witch, the croissant thing. They're new like try. croissant things? I don't know. We'll let you know how it is. Mine's like the three cheese one and he got the chicken How do you know bacon? this is mine? Because it has the little things on top. Yeah. They're actually a good size. Yeah, and they're pretty, they smell pretty good. Oh yeah. There you go. That's actually a good look. Mm -hmm. I have discovered to not put any cream or sugar in my coffee. So my new coffee order, ladies and gentlemen, is just the toasted coconut iced coffee. Like black. It's on camera. Let's try it. That's really good. There's cheese on top of mine too. Mine's really good. They're pretty good. Might be good. I'll have to update you guys later how I like it, like in full once I finish it. We were just broken, shattered, singing along to nothing matters. Stray around like nighttime rumors. We were in too deep in your worn out sweaters. Thinking we'll be young forever. Driving in your mom's old hatchback. And we were in too deep. Hello, you guys. It is a lot later, it's about four o'clock. Will and I are heading back to the house. We decided to get groceries, take them back home, and then go back out to do a little shopping. We just didn't feel like being at the house today. Just, I don't know, we wanted to get out and about. So I actually needed to get some um, makeup from Ulta, just a restock of something. So we stopped in there and then we went to Marshall's to look around and I got a few things there and then we went to Dick's and then we also went to Target, which was on our list of things to do. But yeah, we had a really good day of just kind of shopping and everything like that. I didn't vlog much just because I wanted to enjoy my time with Will, but um, what? It's my thing today. The horns. <laughs> the horns. Um, 
But I did get a lot of good things that I want to show you guys. So you're gonna have a little mini haul. Yeah, a little, a little mini Marshalls, haul. Little Marshalls, little Marshalls, little Dix haul. Little Dicky haul. <laughs> Will is obsessed with little Dicky right now and I don't understand Watch, it. Watch the show, Dave. If you're into like, I don't know, like if you're into like the sunny in Philadelphia humor, but it's also like a just a masterpiece of a show because there are like, I showed Kylie one scene and she cried. Um, okay, it was an emotional like relationship scene. Yeah, but like the character development in it, in it is really good. Um, so I'd like to know if anyone in of Kylie's followers have watched Dave because it's like kind of the I've, I'm watching it the second time now. You're watching it again? Yes, I like it. <laughs> It's funny, but like, okay. I don't know. What are you watching it on, Hulu? Yeah, it's on Hulu. Okay. But I, right. I think it just has humor that like only a few people will like. Yeah. Some people will like. I tried watching it, it and it just but like But if you wasn't. also like mm. pop, pop culture, like if you like rap, if you like rappers, there's a bunch of different rappers in the show. Mm. If you like, like Justin Bieber's in the show, like he talks a little bit, Benny Blanco, um, Kourtney Kardashian's in it. Mm. Um, and then the... There's some other rappers. I don't really know the rappers by name, but oh, Marshmallow's in the show too. Hmm. So a lot of people make like guest appearances. You're really trying to sell it. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Not sponsored. And of course, Little Dicky's in the show. Um. So yeah, Will's been really into that show. So check it out, or let me know down below because Will well, really wants to know if you guys have seen it. Show them what we got. Oh the yeah. Pencils. Okay. So Will got these pretzels and was like these are really good like you need to try them so we tried them and I've never had these before they're like the cheddar rolled gold tiny twists they are so good but then I was like okay I've been wanting to try these pretzels I don't know we're on this pretzel kick right now we're crazy <laughs> don't come for me but um so these then I was like you need to try these. I've heard a lot about these pretzels. So when we were at Target, we picked these up and then he saw them and he was like, you were judging them, right? Well, no, because it was like, okay, another, because on the bag, what's it say? It says, Homestyle Pretzels, original seasoned. Yeah, so like when I read that, I'm like, okay, so these are just normal pretzel twists with salt on them with like, a, you know, I thought they were just like normal pretzel twists, but. But no. So we got the Dots pretzels. I've heard so many good things about these. And I was like, okay, I need to try these. I've heard they're really good. And you guys need to try them. Well, they so they have like a uh, garlic. Yeah, it's like a garlicky, yeah. like oniony flavor. They I think if you're so into good. garlic Parmesan fries, you'll like them. Yeah, if you like garlic Parmesan type things, I don't know if, like That's this is the first idea. time you're ever, you're ever watching my channel, but like I love garlic parmesan everything. So <laughs> these are so good, definitely recommend. The cheddar ones are good too. They're just like both different. They're both a different flavor. Obviously those are cheddar. Give me, give me, give me. I can't vlog and feed you at the same time. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that was a good find. We're almost home now, but. Duckies on the right. Oh yeah. Look at all of them. They are everywhere around here. Can I see Jeez. Them? Yeah. Okay. We're almost home, so I'll show you guys what I got. But I just wanted to check in and say hello, because I know I haven't talked to you guys in a bit, and I don't know what the plan is for the rest of the night. Will's trying to convince me to get Chipotle for dinner, so we'll see if that works. But Nice turn signal. Love that. Okay, hello you guys. I am back now from the store and I thought I would haul and show you everything that I got. I got a lot of stuff today. I wasn't expecting that. Sometimes when Will and I go shopping, like I will have a good day and he won't and then he'll have a good day and I won't. Today was my good day for shopping and I just like found a lot of good things. So 
let me show you also i got like a lot of things that i think i can use i am planning on cleaning out my closet sometime soon so i really need to do that because i feel like my style has changed a lot so let me show you what i got and then also what we got at target that we needed i think i'll show you the target stuff and then i'll show you the clothes so let's get into target first in the car i showed you we got these pretzels oh my gosh they're so good seriously I think this is gonna be like our new travel snack or like whatever. I'm obsessed with them. They're so good. Really recommend. For Valentine's Day, we got this heart-shaped waffle maker. It is so cute. I can't wait to make little waffles in this. For Valentine's Day, I wanna make us, or I guess for Valentine's Day weekend, I wanna make us like heart-shaped waffles and it's just adorable and cute. I wanted this last year, but it sold out and it comes in this red and pink color, but like they always sell out every single year. So if you want one of these, you have to like jump on it as soon as it comes out. Like don't think twice about it. Just snag it because they always sell out really fast. Next, I got this heart shaped like cake pan and I'm going to make brownies in this for the Super Bowl. And then for Valentine's Day, I'm going to make little like cakes in it, but you'll see that in my Valentine's Day video. I'm just really excited to use this and I know I'll get a lot of use out of this over the next couple of years and stuff like that. So I just love holidays and I love celebrating things. So hence all the heart stuff and like the pink nails. So I live for things like this. We got these to try. I've heard that these are really good. I've tried another kind of the Smart Sweets, but I don't remember. Maybe it was the Swedish Fish. I kind of want to try it on camera. Oh my gosh, it smells really good. Yeah, those are good. They're definitely not as sweet. They don't taste as similar to the watermelons that they're trying to mimic, but they're good. I don't normally buy like gummy candy like this, but I think it's really good still. But if I wanted like this type of candy, I feel like I wouldn't buy this. I feel like I would just buy the normal one because I don't buy this kind of candy a lot, if that makes sense. I don't know, like it's good. I'm going to finish the bag, but everyone was saying that this one was the best one so far, but I think the Swedish fish one is still my favorite. Okay, next. I got hibiscus ginger beer. This is so good. Will and I have been on a Moscow mule kick. This ginger beer, so good. And it's not too sweet. And it comes just with like four cans and each can is like the perfect size for a Moscow mule. Oh my gosh, it's so good. If you have a Target near you, you should definitely check this out. I got it in like the soda section. I like it more than just like the normal Moscow mules that we've been making. So I like to kind of switch it up every once in a while with this. I mean, I still like a normal like Moscow mule, don't get me wrong, but so good. Next, we got some more ginger tea. This is just my favorite one and I was out of it. I think I have like two left and this is just my favorite to drink if I have an upset stomach or sometimes I like to drink this before I go to bed. So I wanted to stock up on this one. And then this is the brownie mix for the Super Bowl. And then to top off the brownie mix, for some reason, I don't know like why I have thought this or been wanting this, but I've wanted specifically mini M&Ms on top of brownies. I don't know, don't ask. It's just like been in my head that I need to have mini M&Ms on top of brownies. So we're making that for the Super Bowl. Normally Will and I will make a cookie cake and take that to like our family's thing. But since we're not doing that, we didn't wanna make like a whole cookie cake and like decorate it just for us. Cause we normally make it look like it's like the two teams. We make it like with green icing. We make it look like a football field. If I can find a picture of one we've done in the past, I will insert it here. But if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> like that's normally our thing. We'll normally do cookie cakes for the Super Bowl and then we'll put the opposing teams on each side and then he'll like decorate it with like gummy bears or something. I guess we're doing brownies this year. I think I've really just been craving mini M&Ms and then we wanted to do brownies. So then we're combining them. And then this was the only size bag we could find of like mini M&Ms. We couldn't find like those little things. So we're stuck with this many M&Ms, which is fine, I guess. But like, this is huge, whatever. 
And then I got this bag to put Will's Valentine's Day gift in. And then it was like a two pack. So I was like, oh, perfect. I can put Mika's gift in, which I'll show you later what I got her. But it says, I'm waffly fond of you. And I thought that was so cute, especially because I'm making him waffles for Valentine's Day. So thought that was cute. And these were like $3. So Target's doing something right whenever their like stuff isn't that expensive. I thought that was cute. And then I've been wanting to get a white like button up shirt, but not like a sophisticated white button up shirt, just like a linen-y type shirt to wear with jeans for like springtime. And I found this one at Target. I think it was like $20 yeah twenty dollars and it has like the sleeves rolled up already so i got this let me back it up and then as i said i would wear it with like the front tucked in i'm trying to like give you a picture of how i would wear this outfit because then i also got something else so i'm just trying to like give you this picture so i'd wear this shirt tucked in with some light wash jeans and then these shoes Okay, so I saw these the last time that I was at Target and I wanted them and I didn't get them and then I saw them again today and I got them. I just, I did it. <laughs> and you may be looking at them and you may think that they're ugly. I really like them, okay? So that's all that matters. But I was thinking like, this shirt tucked in with the jeans and these shoes i thought that would be a really cute look so we're gonna try it i need to try on the shoes try on the outfit see if i like it but i i like it we'll see we'll see the shoes were 25 dollars, so i don't know how much i have to lose with that i don't really have a lot of shoes to be honest so and i don't have anything like this they're kind of like i don't know but i think they're cute and i kind of want to rock them so we'll try we shall see updates to come on that and i'll see this the shirt is really soft and like comfortable feeling so i really want to like try it on and see even if i don't like the shoes i still want to keep the shirt i got this pool cover because i just i like it a lot more than the one i have and And then it has these like little tassels at the bottom and especially with like the bachelorette trip coming up that i'm going on this year and just in general i really liked this and i thought it was cute i have a pull cover but it's just like off-white and it's see-through and i liked that this wasn't see-through so i'm gonna try this out and see if i like it and it was on sale and it was there and in my size so i feel like sometimes this type of stuff sells out really early i know it's february but i know i'm gonna want this so i bought it <laughs> that's everything at target so now let's move on to the other stores so i went to i think it's like PetSmart, petco one of those stores this is what i got mika for valentine's day she's sitting right below me but i'm sorry mika you're getting a glimpse of this stuff like a week early <laughs> so i got her these red velvet dog treats they're peanut butter, cream cheese, and beet. I don't know. I thought they were adorable. I thought she would like them. They're really cute. I don't know. Obviously, I can't be the judge of how like good they are, but they looked really cute for Valentine's Day for her. And then we got her one of these bully sticks. She really likes them. And I don't know why they're like expensive, but they are, so got her one of these it's like a treat for her look how cute these are they're these little cupcakes for dogs they're called cupid cakes frosted cupcakes and they're vanilla flavor i actually got this stuff whenever i was looking for stuff for her birthday because her birthday is January 29th. I was like, oh, maybe I'll give this to her on her birthday because they're like cupcakes. But then I found like stuff that said birthday on it. So I'm saving these for Valentine's Day. Okay, now let's move on to the Dick's Sporting Goods and Marshalls haul. So I had to move what I got from Dick's into my Marshalls bag because I spilled water all over the car. And I had to clean it up. And yeah, my Dick's bag 
was like the trash bag for all of that stuff that I used to clean up the car with. So this is actually from Dick's, but it's in my Marshalls bag. I got this shirt. I've never seen anything like this from Adidas. It's like embroidered. And I thought it was really cute. It was the only thing that I saw in that section that I liked and it was on sale. So I got this for $17.99 and it's just like this big white t-shirt with like the Adidas embroidered right there. And they had other colors, but the only shirt they had in my size was the white color, but I wanted the white color anyways. I feel like when I get things in other colors, it's hard to match them with things. So I just like to get neutral colors sometimes. I got this from Dix. I haven't tried any of this stuff on yet, so I don't know what all I'm keeping and returning, but I got these tank tops. They're the Danskin brand, and it's just like this really soft and it material and they're ribbed i don't know if you can tell they were on clearance for eight dollars so i got this color and then i also got it in gray i just liked how they're like kind of flowy and like breathable did i show you the gray one yeah they're the same but they were eight dollars and oh they're made from recycled materials that's cool so i got both of these i'm trying to replace a lot of my workout clothes so i really need to go through my closet but and then i got this adidas shirt it was on sale for $14.99 and originally $30 i'm pretty sure i have this shirt or a similar shirt like this in white and i got it at dick sporting goods like two months ago i'm really like glad that i found this the white one i got at dick sporting goods on sale for like a similar price too so if you don't know me, I love anything Adidas. Adidas, sponsor me, Nike, sponsor me. <laughs> I'm kidding, but like not. And then I got this sports bra. It's actually Puma. And then it's like a longer sports bra. And then in the back, it has like this light pink detailing. Excited to see how this fits. You never know with sports bras, I feel like. I don't think I've ever owned a Puma sports bra, so we'll see. But I got this for $12.99, which I think that's a really good price for a sports bra. Oh, and then the last thing is not mine. It's actually Will's. He just got these pants by the Contour brand. And they're just sweats. But we were saying how we really liked this like pocket detail. And they're just joggers they cinch at the bottom. And that is everything that I got while we were out today. So I'm going to go put this all away, clean it all up, and I will check back in when Will probably convinces me that we're getting Chipotle for dinner. <laughs> Hello guys, I told you the next time I would vlog was when Will convinced me to go to Chipotle. That's what we're doing. I still have yet to put this stuff away that I just showed you. I tried on all of the clothes and I like all of them. So I will be keeping them. I really like this sports bra, the Puma one. It's like a longer top and I really like that. So I'm actually gonna take all the stuff that needs to go upstairs, upstairs, or else it's just gonna sit down here and I'll never get it up there and then I'm going to put the other stuff away because when we get home I'm going to want like the counter clean and everything like that for dinner and I think when we get home we're gonna watch new girl eat our chipotle and yeah so let me get this all cleaned up I actually kind of want to change but I might do that when we get home like get into more comfortable clothes for like games and stuff you know okay I'm gonna put the stuff away and then I will see you guys in a minute Okay, so we are back from Chipotle. We took Miko with us. It was a nice family car ride and got the goods. Yes, we got chips and guac, of course. You got a large guac. Will got a burrito. That thing is massive. I was gonna get a burrito because I never get a burrito, but then I was like, I'm gonna regret it if I do because I just always prefer to not. I don't know. We're gonna go eat our Chipotle. I always shake my bowl. Will's making us Moscow mules. And yeah, we're just gonna have a night. I changed into my PJs. We're gonna watch New Girl while we eat dinner. And then I think we might play a board game. 
if we're feeling it, we're gonna play Mario Party later. That's kind of been our thing now on the weekends to play Mario Party. I don't know. That's just our thing. And yeah, that's our night so far. So it's a wild weekend here at the house. So I'm gonna go. Oh, and I wanna do this. There we go. I'm gonna go eat and I will see you guys later once my stomach is full from all this food. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Could you split that? Yeah. All right. You want me to get that guac bowl we use? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. All right, see you guys later. Hello you guys, happy Sunday. Last night I stopped vlogging. After we got Chipotle, didn't play games. We didn't watch any TV. We kind of um, stepped into a bit of wedding stress. So we've been just working on that. Funny as it is, this is like one weekend where I was like, I don't wanna talk about anything wedding related. So that's how that went last night. So Will and I basically just stressed all night about the wedding. I mean, we still are stressing. So I'm making us heart-shaped waffles to kind of distract us. And I mean, who doesn't like heart-shaped waffles? So these are what they look like. I'm just using the heart-shaped waffle maker I showed you guys yesterday, and I'm putting chocolate chips in them. This one just came out. So yeah, that is what I'm doing this morning. I just woke up, showered, and got myself downstairs to make waffles. So you didn't miss much this morning. It's actually snowing outside, so I'll show you guys that in a moment. Yeah, it's Super Bowl Sunday. I'm really excited. Um, today we're eating like complete trash, so comment down below what your favorite part of the Super Bowl is. Mine is just eating garbage and watching the commercials because, I mean, I like football. I think I loved football the most whenever I was a cheerleader and I could like cheer on a team and like see the team like their entire season from the field. I think that's whenever I loved football the most, but now it's just different whenever you watch it on TV. I just like the commercials for the Super Bowl. They're my favorite. And there's one with Dan Levy this year. What is it, like an M&M's commercial? Mm. It, oh, and it's with like peanut M&M's, right? I don't know. I think it's just like he wants to eat M&M's. But there were peanut M&M's in it. And maybe. I love M&M's. Oh, I, maybe it is the peanut M&M's. Love them. Love Dan Levy, so. <laughs> Schitt's Creek is like my favorite TV show, if you don't know. I'm excited about the commercials. I, I forgot I was gonna make bacon. I'm gonna go start the bacon now, and I'll check back in in a bit. Look at those waffles. And then we have the bacon. We like ours a little like crispy, but a little not crispy. And we're using our leftover Chipotle napkins from last night. <laughs> okay, let's Cheers. feast. I hope we don't eat all that. <laughs> we're not going to, we always have leftovers. Okay, we are taking Mika outside. She's waiting for us. She. Go to the door. Is being very impatient. Mika, hold on. Hold. We're putting on our boots and coats. There's not that much snow, but we still want to play outside with her. I just put on my Ugg boots. Like that showed you guys anything. And this coat, I got this at TJ Maxx last year, I think. And it is so soft. I haven't worn it much this year just because I don't go anywhere. I love it. It's so warm. And I figured since I'm not wearing a sweatshirt. I want something kind of comfy right now. I'm gonna go outside. Oh, and I want to show you guys the snow. <laughs> Where are you going, lady? Oh, it's like slushy. I want to get away from over there. Where are you wow, going? it's so pretty. Nika! Nika! <laughs> she loves the snow. Hello guys, it is 3 p.m. I just 
foiled some noodles while I was on FaceTime with my friend. And the noodles are done for the mac and cheese. Have I gone over like the menu? I think I've told you guys that we're making ham and cheese sliders. We're making mac and cheese and brownies. So I just did the noodles. They're just cooling off right here. And now I'm making the sliders. Um, we're not putting anything in the oven just yet. It's only three. Will's making us drinks. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The brownies we'll probably make later tonight like after we eat so that they're fresh but for the sliders i can give you guys a tutorial on how i make them basically i cut the hawaiian rolls in half and i like to use a serrated knife so that it cuts through the bread easier okay so i just cut the top part off of the bottom part so i'm going to move the top part over and i'm going to layer down the ham and then i'm going to layer down the cheese on top and it's going to create the like perfect middle of the rolls okay so this is what it looks like we have the ham underneath, then the cheese on top, and then we put the other rolls on top. There you go. And then I'm going to put this in a pan, and then you'll bake this with foil on top, and then I like to put garlic butter on mine. I know some people do like certain like seeds or something like that, but I do garlic because we love garlic. And then some people do Swiss, but we like cheddar more. That's just us. Oh, drink delivery. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you want to cheers? Sure. Let's cheers. Let's cheers to the Super Bowl. To the Chiefs. <laughs> You're not even in the camera. <laughs> to the Chiefs. To the Chiefs. I'm not a Chiefs fan. I'm a Bears fan, but I don't like Tom Brady. We're rooting for the Chiefs today. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna put this in a pan. I like to use like a dish with sides on it so that all of the juices of like the garlic butter will stay. Let me spray the bottom of the pan first. I always do that no matter what I'm making. I hate when things stick to the bottom of the pan. Okay, so there we have it. And now these are just gonna sit in here until I feel like making them. And then we'll just pop them in the oven for like 15 minutes or something like that. And then you take them out, take the foil off, and then you can put the garlic stuff on it. So now I'm going to start layering the mac and cheese and stuff like that. And that's a process. So I'm going to get my station set up for that. So keep on dancing, baby. We've been on the phone with family members and just catching up. Like I said earlier, we're normally spending this day with family, so it's just really weird for us to be home and it just be us. And also, I haven't mentioned this at all today, but we have this tradition that Will created, I think a few years ago, maybe like three years ago, where we do these bingo sheets for the Super Bowl game. So here, this is just what one looks like. This is one of mine. And basically, 
we send these to our whole family. In normal times, we're all together. We're all watching the game together. We're all, we all have the bingo sheets out together, but like right now we, like that's just not the case. So we send them all to our family so that they can do bingo with us. And even when we would do the bingo at my like grandma's house, we would still send it to other family members that weren't with us. Cause it's just not feasible for like everyone to be together. Like Will's side and my side, like, yeah, I'm really excited to play bingo. I finished prepping the mac and cheese. That's in the oven. I finished prepping the sliders. Those are in the oven. I prepped the brownies as well. And I think they look so cute. So these are what the brownies look like. I just made the brownie mix and then I put it in the little hearts and then I put M&Ms on top. I have like all the food going right now and I wanted to tell you how I make my mac and cheese. It's my mom's recipe so if you're wondering like where I got it from, it's my mom's recipe but it's just elbow macaroni and then I use white American cheese and I layer one layer of elbow macaroni. <laughs> And then I do like American cheese on top of it and then you like drizzle butter and then you can do like salt and pepper and then you do another layer of the macaroni and then you do cheese again and then you can do more butter and salt and pepper. And then on top, I like to add panko. That's not the original recipe. I just like to add panko like breadcrumbs on top of my mac and cheese. And then you add milk into the pan until it's like a third of the way full. And then you just bake it at 350 for like 45 minutes. But I need to go check on the sliders. That was my timer. And I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. Will and I have been dancing. I, I think I have that clip that I entered, that I inserted earlier. We're just really keeping the vibes going. We're not trying to think about the wedding stress anymore. That's also why we haven't been vlogging too much. We've been trying to figure all of that out as well. But yeah, I'm gonna go check on these ham sliders and see how they're going. my Dan Levy commercial, All is Right in the World. I finished eating, I'm so full. Mika wants some. <laughs> Hello. No, you can't have any. Okay, back to the commercials. The most important part of the Super Bowl. Oh my gosh, Reddit made a five second ad. And it is hilarious because who knows, it literally says, maybe you'll even pause this five second ad. And what do you know? We paused it so that we could read it. <laughs> that was genius. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. That is so funny. A little update for you guys. I am one away from winning bingo in two places, but I don't think I'll ever make it because I need a defensive touchdown from either team or a special teams touchdown. So we'll see. And then my other sheet's not doing too well. <laughs> so I'm a female guest singer away from getting a bingo. Oh yeah, Will, Will needs a female guest singer. I'm also an so bring Oikos. Me, bring me some Ariana Grande. I'm an Oikos yogurt commercial away. And also, yeah, um, if Ariana Grande performs, I was manifesting it. I also like not intentionally wore this shirt today. <laughs> I just wasn't thinking about it. I told my friends at wine night on Friday that I wanted them to manifest Ariana Grande performing with The Weeknd because they have a few songs together and he's on her most recent album. So I was like, yeah, it would make sense if she's like there just chilling, you know, performing with him. But I didn't mean to put on this shirt today. I 
don't know why I put it on and then I realized as I was FaceTiming my friend that I was like we were talking about that and then I was like I didn't even realize that I put this shirt on <laughs> like I didn't mean to <laughs> but okay we're gonna get back to the Super Bowl it's not looking too good for the Chiefs but still 30 more minutes yeah there's still the game's not over, no. so I mean, and it's not really my team, so we're just really we're just rooting against Tom Brady, yeah. supposedly. Hello, it is a lot later now, and Will and I are just closing up shop for the night. The Super Bowl's over. I started reading my book towards the end because I was getting bored. We just cleaned up everything from like all the food and stuff. And now I think we're gonna head upstairs. I'm gonna read some more. I'm gonna put my PJs on. And it's been a good weekend overall. And I can't believe we have to work tomorrow. I had like a moment in my head where I thought that this was President's Day weekend because next weekend we have Monday off of work but I remembered that's next weekend. So next weekend we don't have work on Monday. It's a three-day weekend. Mm -hmm. Super Bowl weekend should always be a three-day weekend. Yeah, don't you think? I think it was a great weekend as I was saying to them. What do you think, Will? I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. I'm tired. Yeah, we're both tired. It wasn't that fun of a game, but... We always do our, like, commercial recap. So, we did this last year. What was your favorite commercial? Cheetos. The Cheetos commercial? Yeah, with, uh, I, I don't know if this is her name. Mia or Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis? Yeah, and it was the... Was it Mila it Kunis? It was me. Do, 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 do. It, it was me. me. Yeah. That was a funny one, I thought. I it was thought. funny, yeah. My last year, my favorite like heartwarming commercial was the Google one, but this year the Toyota one was really good. And then I liked <laughs> the M Ms one with Dan Levy. And then that was good. That I was liked good the Amazon. The Amazon one. Too. Alexa one with yeah. Michael B. Jordan. That was a good one. Because him sitting in the bath. Well, it's just fun. It's a funny commercial. It's like Amazon, it turn lights on, turn lights on. The that husband really... walks in and he's yeah. like, it's getting wet in here. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> oh, that's a good that, Yeah, I think those. I think we those saw that before favorite. the Super Bowl. It was like a preview. And the or something. M&Ms, but. Yeah. But the bingo was fun. You beat me. Yeah, we did like a bingo between us, and then we did a bingo between everyone, and I, I think, beat him. I think for everyone, your grandma won mm -hmm. first. Mr. Don won mm, after. No, Pete won. Oh, he did. Mm -hmm. Usually, I, it's usually pretty good. I try yeah. to I try to make it so that it really incorporates the commercials and football pretty well. Mm -hmm. Without making it like like I don't think we've ever had an instance where it like someone gets bingo after the first quarter no. Which is good. Yeah, no, it makes people... it challenging because like the middle square of it is a fourth quarter free space So that it's not a free space until you hit the fourth quarter. which everyone someone will get a bingo before then Right. Well sometimes. Yeah, okay. Well, we're really tired. So mm -hmm. we're gonna go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching Make sure to like the video. Yeah. Give it a little thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit that button right there. Is it right there? I think so. I'll know whenever I'm editing. <laughs> you can flip the video. I'm not gonna um, flip the video. So here's what you can do. You can hit this button right here that says subscribe. You can hit the button right here, which says like. Hit that like button. And then right below, if you're just like feeling this, Type in something that you're feeling like. What did you think of the Super Bowl? Just comment what you. Oh yeah, thought. do you watch the Super Bowl for the commercials? Like, what do you? Football. What's your commercials. favorite part about the Super Bowl? Mine is the food and the commercials. Yeah. Yours is probably food and the like content of the Super yeah. Bowl. Like, we yeah. can't. Like, why can't we end this video off? Okay. Because it was a fun night. <laughs> okay. You know we're having fun when I'm trying to talk. We're just rambling. <laughs> We're just gonna cut ourselves off before this gets to be a 20 minute clip. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.